What's up everyone, Arctic here, bringing you guys a brand new loadout gameplay. A lot of you guys have actually asked to see some loadout uh, footage here within the last couple weeks. It's been about, I think about two weeks since I posted some loadout gameplay. Uh, the last video I posted was a live uh, gameplay with Pwnstar. Um, that was, I think it was on, actually on Trailer Park as well. I don't remember what game type we were playing. But uh, yeah, that was the last loadout video I posted. I've been doing a lot of stuff on the official loadout channel. Uh, you guys can feel free to check that out if you want to see uh, some of the other stuff that I work on uh, while I'm actually in the studio during the day. Um, so uh, this particular video and what I've been actually doing the last couple weeks with, with uh, gameplay for loadout is I'm essentially creating a master uh, weapon guide weapon crafting uh, builder's guide, I guess, if you want to call it that. And uh, what I've been doing is uh, trying to create a lot of different variations of weapons. Uh, you know, we offer a lot of different combinations. And I'm trying to figure out different play styles uh, that maximize the effectiveness of those weapons. So in this particular game, um, this is a heavy defense game. Again, it's we're playing Jackhammer, uh, which is... A, the equivalent of a capture the flag game type, but there is a little twist on it. Uh, the flag actually is lethal. You can smash people with the flag or hammer, uh, in this case, to uh, kind of aid you while you're running the flag. Now, the last two, three weeks or so, I've been playing pretty heavy defense uh, while I've been in this mode of figuring out uh, different variations and play styles that I could utilize. Uh, across all of the various game types that we have uh, and I've, I've starting to get into a groove to find different ones this particular one uh, very much so utilizes the turret and that's one of the main reasons I'm able as you guys can see I'm standing on this uh, trailer here uh, this is how I kind of zone using the turret now the two weapons that I have and I'll explain the turret here in a second the two weapons that I have are both Gatling barrel weapons one is a pulse which I have out right now I just got that kill and the other is a rifle now the rifle uses high capacity magazine. It ha also has a fire payload, which offers, uh, I believe, a 10% damage uh, bonus. So if you have someone on fire, and then uh, you know your teammate hits them, they're going to get a 10% damage bonus while that player is on fire. So uh, it's it's also can be a very good uh, support weapon depending on how you use it. And if you're team firing, you know you might be talking to some guys on Skype or whatever your buddies. Uh, so it could be very good uh, in those situations, but it is also um, it also offers a damage over time. So if they're on fire and uh, you know <laughs> they're kind of running around, it, it it kind of sets people in panic mode. Uh, so I found that to be pretty effective when I was on defense. Again, you get that ten percent damage damage bonus, and you also get people kind of panicking because they're on fire uh, and they're you know they're. <laughs> They can't like this guy right here. He's on fire a little bit. He might kind of be panicking, um, maybe missing. I don't know. But uh, I found it to be rather useful. Now, uh, what pulls this all together and what allows me to play defense so effectively is that I have the turret equipped for this particular uh, loadout. And the turret, what it does is that it mimics the identical build of whatever weapon you have out at the time that you place it down so i switch weapons there to my uh, cannonball pulse weapon so it is going to mimic the pulse as you guys can see it's firing on that guy i switch to my fire so effectively i am getting the 10 percent damage bonus for my turret because the turret has the pulse out that was the mentality that i had or mindset and strategy that i had behind that i was like okay i'm going to use uh, and it, it works both ways. So I could have it, my fire uh, equipped on the the uh, turret, um, and then I could switch to my pulse. And if my turret sets him on fire, I'm going to get a 10% damage bonus with my uh, pulse weapon that I'm firing. So it works both ways with the turret. So that's why I found it so effective on defense. Now, the other thing you want to notice is that I have it sitting there on the left side of the map uh, on this particular side. I'm going to call it red light district. I don't think we officially have a name for it, but uh, that suits it. You guys see all the neon lights over there. Uh, the fat dragon, that Blade Runner uh, pun reference. So um, I have it covering the left side. And for the majority of the time that I'm playing defense on this particular map, I like to play the middle area on that, that top trailer uh, there that you guys see. So I can cover the middle lane and the right lane. So 
Uh, the turret is covering the left. It occasionally gets kills. I get to see when it blows up because of the uh, the red icon that you guys see there. I pointed right there to it. That's underneath the health bar. When that thing goes uh, gray and, and it'll show that it's destroyed, that's when I know that that turret has been taken out. So uh, I know that people are uh, incoming on that area and that I should be paying attention over there. Uh, so I'll turn and look and possibly uh, get some fire. Now this is actually the first flag touch that they got. Um, you guys are going to see that this guy has jump boots, which is actually a really good equipment piece to have if you're a flag carrier. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is create space because I don't want him to uh, basically loft too far ahead of me. My teammate is on him. He is getting really close. So I'm like, I need to run. He misses a smash there. And I'm just backing up with my pulse as I kill him. Now, both of those weapons that I have, the pulse uh, gatling and the fire gatling weapon, are pretty much good mid to close range. Now the Gatling is particularly uh, less effective at mid range than the rifle because it has projectile speed. Uh, basically it's not hit scan, therefore uh, I have to lead my shots at times. So it's definitely a lot more difficult to use the pulse versus a rifle uh, because you don't have that instantaneous uh, hit scan damage Your indicator that uh, that rifles would have. So um the again the fire weapon is is definitely one that i think can be used at a little bit longer range but because it's gatling it's not going to be accurate super long distances so don't expect to uh, have much success there that was actually my first death uh but that pretty much wraps up this gameplay uh we pretty much shut them down again i played mostly d we had a pretty good flag carrier i think i'm actually going to get smashed here but uh, I did enough damage that my teammate was able to clean clean them up. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I utilize uh, the turret and those two weapons on defense. You guys see my turret just got a kill there. And uh, pretty much showcases this uh, particular setup very well. And here are the weapons for you guys to take a look at. Hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. And until the next time, I will see you guys later. Peace. achieved victory your team has captured the hammer